Okay, so we bring in our old friend, Steve Hutchinson, who is on the line with the Vikings Entertainment Network right now. Steve, you are in Atlanta, which means you are not in Minnesota, where it is currently negative six degrees. Congratulations. Yes, yes. It's, uh, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> I've been there. I've done that. I, I feel bad for you guys. Although, you know, the only thing I can say is when this little, whatever they call these now, polar vortexes, I, I think we should call them cold fronts, yeah. Um, when they <laughs> when that comes through and then pushes on through and it gets back to thirty, everybody will be sitting outside, uh, you know, eating eating in a sweatshirt yep. uh, on the patios at all the uh, along the lake and stuff. Because when you go to fifty below and then you come back to normal temperatures, you, you, it's not so bad. It's all relative, my friend. It is. I'm sitting here at the TCO Performance Center with one of Dennis Ryan's patented white coffee cups, which makes me think of you. You've done that many, many times. Yep. And uh, we were gallons. Yep, we were we were talking about you in in the equipment room. I told him I was going to chat with you uh, in a few minutes. So I want to start off your memories, Steve, as a Viking. You're in Atlanta right now doing the radio row thing and lots of NFL events because you are one of the 15 modern era finalists for enshrinement in the pro football hall of fame class of 2019 so congratulations on that many people listening and watching yeah you're welcome many people listening and watching uh certainly remember uh you playing here with the vikings but me sitting there with d ryan and the equipment guys uh you have that same memory plus many more any any specific ones you want to share with vikings fans you know that's the that's the behind the scenes thing that that fans really should at some point you know get to see and i I, i'm not a I to be honest with you. I, I got to make a confession. I, I don't watch hard knocks, but I've, I've seen some clips where I think maybe um, that's the type of things they would show you behind the scenes footage. And and some of my best memories of in my 12 years have all has been in the, in the equipment room of whether it be Seattle or mm-hmm. Tennessee or Minnesota, and you know playing playing cribbage with Burke and Fred, the late Fred Zamberletti, the late great Freddie Z. Yep. And um, you know, just four guys that are just talking crap that, you know, just trying to pass time in between. We got to go out in the heat of training camp or, uh, you know, the, the cold of, a, of a, you know, an early December practice or something. And it's fun. It's it, That's the stuff, you you know, D. Ryan, Aaron Newman, those guys, Adam back there. Gronk, yep. I mean, it's that's the fun stuff. So for you being such a team guy and playing a position in a team sport that personifies the team nature of the business more than maybe any other group, is it uncomfortable? Are you anxious um, with some of the the attention on an individual award, like the like the Hall of Fame? What what is the feeling that comes yeah. over you when you're in Atlanta? It is definitely different. You know, we, we've been accustomed, like you said, you play a position that pretty much is the epitome of teamwork on a probably the most recognized team sport and in, in there is you know mm-hmm. so it is there is some some difficulty just you know having the and i don't like talking really about myself anyway so um it, it becomes a little awkward but you know i had a shot at a super bowl um, i'm pretty sure everybody in, in out there listening to this remembers the 09 season where we, we you know woulda shoulda coulda yep but my career is over right and so I can't win a Super Bowl ring. And, you know, I have a lot of friends that have them, and, and frankly, I'm jealous of them. But I can't win that. And so right now, you know, to put closure to a career, a career that I, I thought was fortunate to have, to put closure on that and, and be accepted in a group of guys that I looked up to my whole life, I watched on TV as a kid, uh, to be in that same fraternity, um, I, I think that that's a big deal. And I can't really explain, put in words, how big a deal it is. But it is it is a, a tremendous deal to me um, to have that, you know, be potentially something that I'll find out here in the next couple of days. Yeah, it's something as an especially as an offensive lineman, you know, you you're kind of used to being able to control the situation and your destiny, right? I mean, you, you're going to set the tone. It all it all you know all the cliche football talk. Set the tone, win it in the trenches, control the line of scrimmage. So that was always deemed it was up to us if we were going to win the game or not, and so here it's the opposite you know you're yeah. sitting back and you're you're letting a lot of guys um take your fate and, and it's completely out of your hands so it's it's an awkward feeling it's a it's a it's a weird feeling uh and it's also a helpless feeling yeah to some degree i think there are a lot of things steve that if someone was going to go into the the voters room and make a case for you there's a lot of things someone could point to and i have a sheet that 
uh, the great Tom West has put together with some of your accolades and some some supporting information for you. Um, you know, an example: no no running back had more 100-yard rushing games or rushing touchdowns than did Sean Alexander when you were blocking for him. No running back had more rushing touchdowns, and only one running back had more 100-yard rushing games than Adrian Peterson when you were blocking for him. And you know, I was talking with Dennis about the playoff game the Vikings played against Seattle uh, after the 2015 season and we were talking about you know it was, it was the missed field goal uh, at the wire and we were talking about you know and I said yeah it's just it's hard to win in this league and and Dennis said yep yeah, and it's even harder to lose you know and I think that yeah. was yeah. Uh, a good point by Dennis that you know the margin between victory and defeat in this league is so razor thin and um, and you were someone, Steve, who won a lot on an individual level, and, and you were on good teams during your career. Hopefully, it will result in uh, you know being enshrined as a member of the class of 2019 for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I don't like working on the weekends during the off season, but if this Saturday night I have to fire up the computer and work a little bit on your behalf, um, I'd be happy with that, Steve. Thanks for your time, man. Well, Bobby, I appreciate that. Thank you. And, yeah. Uh, you know, you guys take care and you stay warm up there. Um, I, I always say I, I got to visit more than I do. And um, now I at least know there's plenty of ice up north where I don't have to worry about falling through. You will not, so. Yeah, you will not have to worry about that. And perhaps the next time um, we, we do something work-related together, it will not be negative six because in Canton, Ohio in August, Steve, it's very hot. It's not going to be negative six. Yeah. No, well, it is we'll, not. Listen, Wabi, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there and hopefully hopefully we can cross that together so yeah i appreciate that you bet steve thanks for your time man have a good rest of the week there okay thank you yep thank you see you bye